Hey, how you going? Uh, I'm just going to show you a track by Napalm today called Molasses. Um, this is from her solo album, uh, Needle Poor. Um, she's the lead singer of Hiatus Coyote, um, and this track appears on their second album, Choose Your Weapon. Um, it's just in standard tuning, and she just uses her fingers to play, no pick. Um, so if you learn this version, um, her solo version, um, you can apply it to the Hiatus Coyote version because it's in the same key. Um, the intro to her solo version is different, but once the intro is finished, it's it's pretty much the same, same form, same track. Cool. So just a few sections to this, um, three or four. There's an intro. Um, I've broken it down into three separate verses. Um, there's verse A, B, and C, and there's a chorus and a bridge. Um, there's a couple of variations throughout the the track. Um, to the chorus, but just in the in the last one, pretty much, and I'll explain that when we get there. Uh, so the first section. <laughs> Um, so there's the intro section, it's kind of in four small sections itself. Um, so it starts off with this sort of plucked section. Um, so I think she generally just does a bar, A minor 7 bar chord, but to get that open B string, um, I sort of play this chord, which sounds sounds good, because you get that those sort of clashing notes there. Uh, so what this is, open A string, 5th string, and then 5th fret on the 4th and 3rd string, open B, 2nd string, and 7th fret on the 1st string. Then the 2nd chord, um, bar the 3rd fret, the top 4 strings, and then put your pinky uh, on the 5th fret, 1st string. And then the third chord, um, this D9 chord. So second finger on the fifth fret, uh, fifth string. First finger on the fourth fret, fourth string. And then fifth fret on the third and second string. And the rhythm for all this. So that happens four times, and then she goes to um, the A minor seven bar chord, which is just barring your first finger on the fifth fret, and then putting your uh, third finger on the fifth fret. Sorry, fifth string, seventh fret, and then playing an A minor six chord, which is fifth fret on the sixth string, fourth fret on the D string, and then fifth fret for the second and third strings. And just cycling between these two. Um, the third section of this intro is the same thing, just move down two frets. So you, you've got a G minor seven. So again, barring all six strings, this time in the third fret, and then fifth fret on the fifth string. And 
then a G minor 6. So the same chord that we played up here, the second chord, just move down two frets. So third fret on the sixth string, second fret on the fourth string, and third fret on the second and third strings. Um, and then the fourth section of the intro is actually the end of one of the verse sections. Um, so it's an E flat major seven, which is um, sixth fret, fifth string, then the eighth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, third string, and eighth fret, second string. And that moves to a B flat major seven, which is sixth, sixth fret, lowest string, eighth fret, fifth string, and then um, seventh fret, fourth and third strings. Move the exact same chord shape down two frets. So you've got an A flat major seven. So this is uh, fourth fret on the sixth string, sixth fret on the fifth string, and then fifth fret on the fourth and third strings. And then a G minor seven. Um, so, 3rd fret on the lowest string, 5th fret on the 5th string, and, sorry, just bar, bar the 3rd string and play the low 4 strings. And this gets us into um, what I've called verse A, uh, which is this. So we've just got three chords here. Um, so again, we're just sitting on that G minor seven that we um, finished the intro on. So again, just third fret barred all six strings, and then you've got uh, fifth fret on the fifth string. Um, she just sort of doubles the melody that she sings on this top note. So it's just five, six, open. That's on the top string. Um, and then she moves up and plays this F major seven. Um, so barring the top four strings in the 10th fret and then hammering on 12th fret on the first string. And then playing a D minor seven. I think she hammers that on as well. Um, so that's barring the fifth string, uh, the top five strings. Sorry, fifth fret, top five strings. Then you've got 7th um, fret on the 4th string and 2nd finger on the 6th fret, 2nd string. Um, so that's, that's verse A. Um, so that's first heard at one minute eight seconds in the uh, in the napalm version, and then verse B comes in just after one minute thirty, um, and is this. So it, it plays that G minor seven that we've, we've played a couple of times already. Um, and then it goes to a C9 chord, which is uh, third fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, and then third fret, third and second string. Um, so it cycles between those two chords two times.
Then it goes up to our E flat major seven that we learned in the intro. Um, then the B flat major seven that we learned in the intro. A flat major seven that we learned in the intro. G minor seven that we learned in the intro and we've played a couple of times already. Um, then it plays an A note, just a bass note. So fifth fret, sixth string. And then a B bass note, which is second fret, fifth string. And then keep that bass note held down and basically play a D sus4 um, underneath this bass note. So you, all up you'll be fretting uh, fifth st string, second fret, third string, second fret, and then third fret um, in the top two strings. And then to finish this section off, um, we play the tail end of the intro uh, that we learned earlier. So that E flat major seven, B flat major seven, A flat major seven, and then G minor seven. Um, so I'll play this verse B again, all the way through. Um, and then, so at this point, at 1 minute 59 in the track, uh, we hear the chorus for the first time. Um, the guitar is this. Um, so we've got a lot of similar shapes that we've already been playing. Um, so we've got an F major 7 as the first chord. So 1st string, sorry, 6th string, 1st fret, 5th string, 3rd fret, and then 2nd fret for the 4th and 3rd strings. Then we play the G minor 7 that we've been playing the whole time. So bar in the 3rd fret, and then 5th fret on the 5th string. We move that over to the A minor 7 that we play in the intro. So bar in the 5th fret and 7th fret on the 5th string. Then we play a B flat major 7. So similar, so the same that we've already played a few times. 6th fret on the low string, 8th fret on the 5th, and then 7th fret uh, on the 4th and 3rd strings. So you've got We play a D minor seven. Um, so we've already played one of these, I believe, in the song somewhere. Oh, in verse A. Um, so barring that fifth, fifth fret, and then seventh fret on the fourth string, sixth fret on the second string, then G minor, A minor again, and then finish on the G minor. So this first half of the chorus. Then we repeat exactly the same thing up to a certain point. Um, so at this point, instead of going to the A minor seven the second time, instead of going here and then back to G minor, we hit the G minor the first time and then play the E flat major seven that we've played a couple of times. So sixth fret, uh, sixth, sixth fret, fifth string, eighth fret, uh, fourth string, seventh fret, third string, and eighth fret, second string. And we repeat that a couple of times. Um, 
Um, so at the end of the first chorus, um, we go into verse C. So this is at about 2 minutes 45 in the track. Um, so it's identical to verse A. Um, so you play verse A twice, basically. So that was... So that's the same. G minor again. So it's pretty much the same as verse A, except instead of playing this D minor 7, we're playing a D major 7. Um, and then we're playing A minor 7 just before we go back to G minor 7. Um, so exactly the same G minor 7. Then that F major 7. And then. D major 7 here, which is 5th uh, string, 5th fret, 7th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, and 7th fret, 2nd uh, string, and then the A minor 7 that we've played a couple of times, so bar in the 5th fret, and 7th fret on the 5th string, and that's just like one beat before the G minor 7, and you play this bit two times. Um, so that's verse C. Um, then I think it goes back to verse B. Um, and then there's a bridge that happens about 3 minutes 38 in the track, um, which is this. Um, so it starts out, so pretty much chords that we've already played, um, just in a different order. So we've got our G minor 7, then the C9 that we play in verse A, then D minor 7, then C minor 7, which is the same as D minor 7, just moved down two frets. So you're barring the third string, top five, sorry, third fret, top five strings, and you've got fifth fret on the fourth string and 4th fret on the 2nd string and then we're playing a B flat major 7 um, which is the same chord as the one that we play up here <coughs> um, but I just watched a live video and she plays this one so it's 1st fret on the 5th string 3rd fret on the 4th string 2nd fret on the 3rd string and 3rd fret on the 2nd string And she plays a quick E flat major seven just before she goes back to the top of this bit. Uh, same E flat major seven we played several times. Um, then she repeats it, um, and then instead of going to the B flat major seven the second time around, um, she plays just starts cycling between the G minor seven and the C nine chord. This is that better, 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 no better, 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 better when she's repeating that, that vocal line. Um, so I'll just play it again, just through. Then it's just the chorus again at the end. The only difference this time around, um, the very first time that she plays the chords, um, it's a bit of a different pattern. So it's the same chords, um, it's just broken up a little bit. So just F major 7, G minor 7, A minor 7. 
um, then D minor 7, G minor 7, A minor 7, and in just that rhythm. Then back to the regular. Um, and then right at the very end, the very last um, time she plays through these chords, when the whole track starts to slow down, um, she plays through it, and instead of going from the G minor to the A minor 7 back to the G minor, she goes G minor 7, A minor 7, B flat major 7, and then finishes on the E flat major 7 that we've played a lot. Um, so that's the whole track. Um, hopefully you're able to follow that one through. Um, any questions, hit me up below and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, hope you enjoy playing this track. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. You can subscribe if you like as well. Bye. Cheers.